Hello Virgo, this is your reading for May 2020. I'm doing the full Celtic cross for Mer uh, Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, or those who have Virgo dominant in their chart. New energies and hopefully positive energies. And realize this may not resonate with all Virgo individuals, please. This is for Virgo Sun, Moon, and Rising, or a Virgo dominant in their chart. May 2020. Full Celtic cross, please. New energies. See what's going on for Virgo. I do shuffle these prior, meditate on your sign even before I even start the videos. I always do. Like all that energy in there, you know. Still fighting this cold a little bit. It comes and it goes, so hopefully it's gone or mostly gone. Incoming energy, the sun. You're not as happy as you could be, Virgo, with the sun in reverse. It's not that you're miserable, miserable, because the sun in reverse is just like you put things off that make you happy in some way. Virgo, dealing with the Knight of Wands, some of you. Maybe a, this could be also you if you have a lot of Leo in your chart. But it's also passion energies trying to regain your passions. Or you're dealing with a fire sign with a lot of passions. It's crossing it, the Empress. You want growth with them. You may actually get growth with this person. It really depends. What crowns you with the goal is the lust card. The lust card is a passionate card. I love the lust card because it gives you desires and, and really pushes you to get those desires that you want in life. It's just not about what you're, you know, what everybody thinks it is. It's about going for what you're getting because you want it so bad, okay? Foundation, four swords, took a break. Also about making a truce with somebody or something in your life. I'll clarify these also, okay? And I'll also give you a love reading at the end, a mini one. <clears throat> Excuse me. Hope my voice don't go. Past position, Knight of Swords. The Knight of Swords is about pa also powerful energies of moving forward forcefully. It also, for some of you, you can be dealing with the air sign, Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra, but not necessarily, okay? It's about actually pushing forward again when you, after taking a break, possibly. Going for your desires again. Okay, Virgo, don't give up on those desires. Keep your eye on the prize, prize. You get a victory. You get success in whatever you're going for. You are going to get a victory in some way in the near future. Like I said, I'll clarify. Possible future outcome and advice from the universe. Take it slow. Be careful still with the full card in reverse. It's just saying, be careful. When you take your leap of faith, look at your the surrounding energies and make sure, you know, everything is on the up and up. It doesn't mean it won't be. It's just it's saying, be careful because uh, the world is not a safe world all the time. Okay? That's what it's saying. Or it could be that's what you're doing. Outside influences what caused all this situation and probably you're taking a break. But it also gained you a victory. It's the outside world has the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. So maybe because of the outside situations, we're kind of muck, and as we know, it kind of helps you in some way uh, for some of you. If you look for it, if you go for those passion energies, realize whatever, whatever didn't work out in the outside world will help you gain a victory. I know it sounds crazy, but that's the way I'm looking at it. Hopes and fears, you're afraid your ships won't come in, you're afraid the things you're wanting won't come in, the passions, <clears throat> you're afraid they won't come in. In the end, ooh, five of pentacles, you're worrying too much. You're gaining the victory, but I see you worrying at the same time. That's the five of pentacles. People say it's not having enough, but I'm thinking you're gaining the victory over things that weren't working out for, in the outside world. i got to clarify. I could be wrong, but... I'm feeling it. I'm feeling that, I hate to say it, if you take advantage of a situation when things go negative, you may actually prosper in, the, in yourselves, Virgo. So, let's go with the subject at hand, Knight of Wands, Passion, Energies, and Growth with the Empress. I need two cards, please. Two cards. Coming out of the Ten of Swords energy with it in reverse, but you're still kind of, you know, um, unsure, you know, subconsciously, because that's that Nine of Swords of feeling like, well, can I do this? Can I not do this? It's like I see way down, you being weight, weighed down, you know, 
it's something heavy on you. Like it's keeping you up at nights, you know? But you are coming out of that negative energy. It's just that you're also a little worried. Um, what crowns you are the goals, the lust card, and your hopes and de desires and going for what you're wanting. I need two cards, please, for the lust card for Virgo. Two cards, please. King of Pentacles in reverse. The Hangman. Yeah, you got a lot of desires, but you feel like there's a lot of stagnation around you. A lot of people do when it comes to the Pentacles energy. When it comes to money and finances and stability, you're wanting, you're wanting to go for your desires and you want it now, but you may have to wait a little bit. And not forever. It's just like right now, it, well, we know that in the world right now is a little stagnant because here's a subject at hand, four swords taking a bit of a break, having to, you know, step back a little. So four swords, I need two cards, please, for Virgo is the foundation. Taking a stand, valor, getting on top of things, and quickly. So you are going to be taking, uh, coming out of taking a break, and you're going to get right back on that horse, and you're going to go pretty quickly forward. And by doing that, you gain a victory. It's like you... I'll, I'll, I'll tell you in a minute. Let me get back to the Knight of Swords in the past position. I need two cards, please, for Virgo. I told you what that's about, but I need two cards for Virgo. Judgment in reverse. In the past, you didn't make a final decision on something. Something with a uh, new beginning, a new emotional beginning. You haven't made up your mind yet on something. It's a past energy. You still haven't made your mind up on something. I don't know what it is. It would be different for everybody. It just tells me it has to do with an emotional new beginning. Near future, you get a victory. It's a Jupiter card. It's a great, it's a great victory card. So the Six of Wands... Two cards, please, for Virgo. The full card again. You're going to be very careful. You're going to walk away from one thing. You're going to walk away from something. You're getting a victory, and by getting a victory, it's because you're careful and you walked away from it, uh, something else. Because I see the Ten of Swords in reverse, so something else ended, something you put aside, something you put away. And then now you're going for a new victory, but you're being, like I said, careful. You did walk away, though. You're walking towards a victory and putting away this part where you should be, the way I'm looking at it. I see you moving forward pretty quickly, too. Not too long from now. Possible future outcome and advice from the universe is a full in reverse. I need two cards, please. It's being very, very careful about where you take that leap of faith. Two cards, please. Lovers. Yeah, you're definitely going to be having a uh, relationship also. You can be very careful in relationships, but you are getting one. You're going to be very careful about who you let in. You're going to let them know it. Outside environment, what's causing all this and having you move forward with the victory and walking away from stuff is the Ten of Pentacles energy. You know, money was not good on the outside. But it looks like because of that, uh, it's, it's crazy as sounds. you're getting victory from it. Okay? Um, so I need two cards for the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Two cards, please. And it also means that money is coming back in society again. And messages. The emperor taking control. Taking control. Some of you will be dealing with the Aries, but not necessarily. I see this is uh, someone's going to take control of the finances and probably turn the situation around. I do see it taking a little bit longer than people are expecting, but someone is, is trying to take control. And I think because of this, the way the thing the world is working, I know I re just repeat it, my, I keep on repeating myself. Because of this situation, you end up prospering as life goes on. But you're still worried. You're still worried and you're still dealing with a situation that has to do with money in the end. But I need uh, three cards for the three of wands and the hopes and fears. You're afraid your ships won't come in, but they, they're going to they're gonna turn around. Two cards, please, for Virgo. 
path, past memories, past people in your life, and putting down your swords. Okay? Put down on swords. You're afraid something won't come in. Something that you had nostalgia and find memories of, fond memories of. And putting your swords down, leaving yourself open to love again, too. Has a lot to do with that. Maybe you fear about putting your swords down. In the end, you get the Five of Pentacles. You're still worried about the situation, as everybody is. It's still in May, okay? Everybody is. Because of what what's going on in the world, what's going on the outside here. You're still a little worried about it. But don't worry too much because you're walking away from that negativity. You're going for a victory. Yes, you're going to be careful when you do it. And be careful who you let in. You are being careful of that. But let's get to the end here. Five of Pentacles. I need two cards for the Five of Pentacles. That's someone feeling left out a little bit too. You could be dealing with somebody else that's feeling left out because you're being very careful. I didn't think of that. But I need two cards for the Five of Pentacles. Please, two cards. Yeah, you're worried about you're not going to get your happily ever after, but you are going to get some messages that may change that, okay? Moving on from troubled waters, I've been getting that a lot. Moving on from negative situations. It'll feel a little rough at first as you move on, but it gets better when you reach the other side. So I do see you getting the victory. You are walking away. You're being very careful. You're being very careful who you let in your life. Even though the world is kind of crazy, you're still going to get a victory, okay? You're, you're worried about putting your swords down and being vulnerable again. I see that. I see that you're worried. You're afraid you're not going to get your happily ever after. But you are getting a passionate energy that is coming in. Maybe messages. Maybe a younger person. Attractive. Maybe fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Could be all kinds of things like that. But I'm going to give you a love reading right quick. And this is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising. <clears throat> Here goes my voice. I need three cards for love for Virgo, Summon and Rising for May 2020. For those who have Virgo strong in their chart, three cards, please. For love for May 2020. Worth waiting for. So maybe you already decided that someone is, you know, that is divine timing at hand, that the person that's supposed to be in your life will come in. You know they are worth waiting for. Okay? Stay optimistic about your love life. Please do. I do see you like being very careful. Maybe not trusting in situations when it comes to love. And that you will deserve the, the love that you're getting. In the future, stay optimistic. The person that's kind of, a person that is supposed to be in your life. And I wish I had my other cards with me. But they're at another location. I wish I had them. Because it will tell me more about maybe a soulmate thing. But I do see that someone is coming in your life, so stay optimistic, and you'll deserve this person. And, and know that you deserve love, because you're kind of down and out about it. Let me get three cards for clarifying here. What did uh, Virgo go, for, uh, go through that made him wait for a new partner, or a partner that's supposed to be in their life? The divine timing, and when a partnership takes a partnership takes off also. You could already know this person. But this, this love is worth waiting for, supposedly for you, okay? So I need another card for the worth waiting for, for Virgo, Sun, Moon, and Rising, May 2020. Queen of Air. Some of you can be dealing with an air sign, but, or somebody that's really powerful with, with their words in some way, or with their emotions and words. They could have air, they could have water in their chart. But this queen of air is very powerful, and it can be male or female, okay? Even you can take on this energy. It's taking on your crown again. But um, it's also this person that you're going to run into is going to be straightforward, okay? You're going to know they're going to be um, very honest and upright, you know, and you're, you're going to tell you the truth. They're not going to uh, sugarcoat things, so realize that this is the person. If you're wondering who it could be, this person would be, like I said, up front. And you may even find them to be a little, um, um, where it disturbs you a little because they just straight out tell you the way things are. You know, you're like, whoa, you know. Now, as I say stay, stay optimistic, right now I feel like some of you are a little, you know, not very optimistic about your love life. I need another card. And also realize that positive thinking, when someone sees someone positive, they, they automatically attract love, you know, to them if you stay positive. 
I need another card for Stay Optimistic. Ace of Fire, Passionate New Beginning. Yeah, stay optimistic as you will get a Passionate New Beginning. Ace of Fire, Ace of Wands. By the way, I'm still using the 8th House Tarot, okay? Um, you deserve love. You are lovable. So you've got to believe that. You've got to believe that, okay? And another card for you deserve love. What is going on with Virgo, Summon, Rising? That they don't believe they deserve love because it must be there that they kind of feel down and out. I need another card, please. Eight of water. Eight of cups. You deserve love. Eight of cups is to walk away from the negative situations that didn't bring you love. Put away those negative thoughts and emotions because if it, it seems like you feel for some of you don't deserve it or you feel like you're not going to get it or you, it's never going to stay there. But you need to walk away from past karma that didn't work out and stop bringing it with you because someone's coming in that is supposed to be there. And like I said, you'll know that they, they're probably... Um, like I said, they're very straightforward and to the point when they talk to you. So stay optimistic. You are getting a passionate new beginning. For some of you, for so I see air, I see water, I see fire signs, I even see earth, okay? And um, so we're dealing with a lot of Virgos here. But stay optimistic. Know somebody is coming in and you deserve this person in your life. Walk away from the negative situations. I did see um, the Eight of Cups here. Where you need to walk away from BS. See? You'll get a victory if you walk away from the negative emotional situations. You got that twice here. And it's very important that you walk away and put away past karma, past negativity, thinking that you're not good enough, thinking that you don't deserve love when you do, and that you are lovable. Okay? This is your reading. I'll upload it soon. Okay? And I will talk to you later, Virgo. Bye.